Euro Paint video tutorials by Andrew Buckle. This tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use gradients. Now it's not going to be every everything about gradients, there's a lot of features in gradients, but I'm just going to run through a fair number of gradient features. Now, first thing to do, just select the gradient tool itself. So there's the gradient. There's a number of tools associated with it, and you can find there's all the various tools down there, tool, subtool, tool property, all the various things you want for the gradient. Now you can quickly select the tools. You can see then when you select them, you can see them changing over there, all the various things. You can see all the, there. So one of the things, if you want, you want to use the gradients and change them, say you want to like create some a new gradient, I always find that it's actually best because if you go there, right click, you've got duplicate subtool. Now, what you can do, of course, you can, once you've changed something, what you can do is quickly go to duplicate subtool and then go back to revert to initial settings. You might want to do it the other way, and actually just before you do anything, just like I say, just go and select that one, say. Just say duplicate subtool at this point. So no changes. So also I always find revert to initial settings, because I'm always changing things, always tweaking things. So, so revert it back. So you've got the default setting for that. So now what you can do, just go and say duplicate subtool. And then obviously it's got Sunset 3. Change the name, you want to call it maybe a convention, say with your own name or something, so you know it's one of your ones. It's each, each of their own. And then click OK. So you've got this Sunset 3 over there. Right. Now, once you've actually done that, now let's just go and tweak things and change things. You've got this design here. Now, obviously, I've got, I've obviously created it a bit earlier, but. Uh, what you can do, you've got options here in this tool property. You've got draw on edit layer. So what you can do, you can just draw it on the editing layer as it says. Now, in some cases, it doesn't do anything. So just going to go to a new raster layer and then draw on that. And you can see the it's just been drawn on that. Quick and easy doing that. And again, you can apply it again that way, that way. I Generally go for the circular design, linear is fine, but I'm, I'm going to go with circular in this case. So I'm just going to work towards a circular design. So now, advanced settings, you can actually try edit the gradient there. So I'll go in that in a few minutes. So now, create gradient layer. I want to go with that. So create gradient layer and gradient there. That's the key one, actually. That's the probably the one. Ink, it's got a few options there, but just gonna that's the key one there. So I'm gonna select circle, but there's also another option, ellipse. So if you actually select the ellipse, I'm just gonna show you ellipse quickly, I'll just apply it like that, and you can see the ellipse. It's elliptical design, so you can apply obviously different angles like that. Circle, so you can apply it quickly like that. Now what you can see, and you can see the obviously yellow there, this is the yellow there, all the way to the black there. Now you might want to change that. So you've got some options here, edge process. So just go there and then just go to that one and then just drag out like that. You make it very small. You can create a very intense lot of lines. So that's a quick way of doing that. If you've obviously created very large, then you don't get so many. So just basically Great for creating like that. Now, once you've done that, what you can also do, and you've got this one here, which is reverse, and that creates a more sort of smoother gradient. You can see it just goes from black all the way to the yellow, and then went black all the way to the yellow, and so on. So on. you can see it just a smoother result. And again, you can use the same lines. So you get more tube sort of as it rings coming out. And of course, if it was linear, if you went for linear, you could actually do the same, create very small like that and you can change the angle there and so on and so on but I'm going to go for that circle but my favorite one not to draw and that just creates very very basic like that circle doesn't do any create anything else doesn't go further out it just stops there's no repeat feature unfortunately only just so you can't control to create more interesting sort of but you can of course you can change the, the gradient itself so you can just go and change that there's also dither in, start from centre. Start from centre is a bit weird, just go there and you can personally find it a bit harder to control, so I keep it start from centre. 
Now, what you can do, once you've done all that, you might say this is all reflected in this tool over here. Of course, you can go to advanced settings. So if you change your mind, you want one of these gradients. You don't have to keep the same gradients. You can select here and select a different gradient. So you can just click there. And I'm going to go with that one. You can also reverse it. And I actually personally like the reverse better than so it's the other way around. So you've got the yellow there and the black at the edge now. And you can, of course, modify the opacity. So you can go there and you can tweak this. You can just change that. You can see it makes it sharper there. Not so keen on that. You can move that around. You can or you can just not use it at all. Up to you. You can also go, let's say, move that around, move there, cross over. You can also move that stop, move that all the way along, and drag it off just to remove it. I'm not going to do that, so I just want to go back to the default. That one. I'm just going to select sunset. You can keep modifying it. You can also modify position and opacity. So if you want to say, 20 and you can see then a pasty goes in at position 70. Okay, I don't want that. Just want it solid like that. So click OK and so you've got your gradient changed there and then just go there and apply the gradient. Instead of wanting to reverse it, so click OK. And you can see why I want it reverse because you get the nice solid black on the edge and you get the light in the center which is quite right quite nice now once you've actually done that you can see what actually over here i'm actually every time i do it i've been creating a new gradient now obviously i can get rid of all those very quickly so if i decide i don't want any of those gradients i can actually say and delete them all very quickly so i'm just going to delete them and obviously you just got the original background there and again let's say create gradient layer or draw on editing layer so i can just draw on that and it doesn't add a new one I quite like the create gradient layer. The thing is, with that, you can then create gradient layers very quickly, and then you can select them. So you can just go up here to the move layer, and you can move them around, tweak them like that. And of course, as they're layers, what you can do, just go over here to blending mode, and you can say difference. So you can actually then move that around and create interesting gradient combinations or layer designs just by moving that around like that. I'm going to put it back to normal at that point. So now just go back to the gradient tool. And again, like I say, you've done all those settings, you've got all those. You can also modify the actual blending mode. Now, obviously you can see when I'm doing the gradient layer, you don't particularly need to do that. Because once you've got that, you can actually, but you can do it. So you've got rays, you've got other, there's a whole range of different options. I'm going to have a difference again. So when you actually apply it, then you can see just there, obviously the difference it says. And you can apply it again, it creates an interesting color effect. And they're like, and it's just so you can see it's layers. So if you decide I don't want that, you can delete it. And again, that's stored straight away when you go to tools. So I'm just going to now say, right, I'm just I don't want that anymore. I want to go to the blue. I'm just going to apply the blue and just then go back to sunset, click there, and again, it's still there's the setting which you can then use over and over again very quickly. So that's a quick run through of some of the features that you can use with gradients. Obviously with gradients, you can use them for lots of things. You could probably use them as sources for brushes, use them for pattern designs, and much, much, much more in this application. Really useful, and we found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.